I was writing a note to a colleague and uh, that's when it all hit home, actually writing it down that I needed brain surgery. The way that it's protected in your head is this bone right here, the cranium. To actually see your face and to see the route that they're going to take and the openness of the whole team. Uh, I mean, to be able to sit with them, see what the process is, actually meet the folks that are doing the 3D, that was incredible to me. Uh, this is a rendition of the patient's actual anatomy, what his skull looked like, his vascular anatomy, and what the tumor looks like in relationship to the nerves. Today's case is a large tumor in the posterior fossa that has caused hearing loss and loss of balance in an otherwise extremely healthy young man. What we're really good at in this group is, is that kind of 2D to 3D reconstructions. So taking slice by slice data that you might get if you go to get a CT or an MRI scan and turning that into um, something that can be physically modeled. We're pretty unique in the fact that we're able to leverage the relationship between us and our tools and radiology and other departments and the RPC that is already here at Sinai uh, to do these things on a time scale that really very few other institutions are capable of doing. But we also have the kinds of tech resources that would be normally very very rare in a hospital setting. Not only can we do it quicker, we can do it a lot cheaper. You know, something that might cost three or four or five hundred dollars to model here in-house would outside cost perhaps ten times that. Our scanners, both MRI and CT, are state-of-the-art and some of the best you'll find not only in the city but in the country. Our on-site 3D printing lab that we have that utilizes between six and seven different 3D printers is a pretty great commodity that I don't really know of many places in the country that can do that. At some institutions, 3D printing can be a surgically run process or a radiology run process or mostly the engineers, but the great thing about Mount Sinai is that we have all three working simultaneously together. It provides constant tweaking and constant refinement of the process to make sure that the product that we print at the end matches the patient's data and exactly what the surgeons need. It enables a surgeon to show a patient what is wrong and have them appreciate why they're going to do this procedure versus another. This 3D modeling enables the surgeon to see what he might do, to do mental practice or I need to generate two or three models and actually practice the surgery. I feel amazing. I can't believe it's only been, what, seven, eight weeks. Hey, look at you. Wow, you look so great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. The technology was a peace of mind for me. I hope every hospital or every uh, neurosurgical department has this, especially if it gives them an additional advantage.